Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I have 6 different cards using just one die. The die I will be featuring today is by MFT Stamps new release, it is called Watermelon Die and it is supposed to create a watermelon, but I will be very creative today and I'm going to show you how you can use these dies to create a bunch of other fruits. So you are supposed to stack one on top of the other and you can even use that tiny little die that uh, is going to look as if you had a bite from the fruit. There are 9 dies included in this die set and uh, you can use them to create either a half a circle of a watermelon or a quarter of a circle of a watermelon. So anyway, I will be using uh, these uh, 4 ones for all the cards and I'm going to show you how you can make a bunch of other fruits with them. I am going to start with a watermelon which is what these dies are supposed to create and I'm going to start die cutting out of colored cardstock. Of course, you can use white cardstock and just color it in with your favorite mediums, with your alcohol markers or even your blending tools. Putting the watermelon together it's super simple, as you can see all you need are these three pieces, the green, the white and the red, and there is one more die that gives you the seeds, which of course I could have placed directly on top of the red cardstock like so, but I decided not to do that and I just cut out the seeds separately, which I'm going to just stick on top with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. But you do have that option if you like inlaid die cutting, for a different look. My watermelon is ready, it is a great focal point for a fresh looking card and I will be using that at the end of this video as an embellishment. So I'm going to show you how you can make a slice of apple, which is super simple to do, using the same dies. So as you can see I cut out the big chunk out of white cardstock and the thin one out of red. And to complete the look I need to add some seeds, so I'm going to use three of those black ones at the center of my slice. Now I'm going to use some scrap paper as a backing so that I can put those two pieces together. You can use any scrap piece as a backing and whatever sticks out you can just use your scissors and cut it out. I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and neat, I will use my scissors to cut off the excess. And again at the end of the video I'm going to show you how you can use this on top of a card. Now let's make a lemon. I am using two shades of yellow here and on the smallest one, which is the darkest, I'm going to draw some slices. They don't have to be perfect, just uh, draw three slices and cut them out with your scissors. If you feel confident, don't do any pencil lines, just go ahead and cut out three slices and uh, don't stretch too much about making those perfect. You will see that mine aren't perfect and definitely not the same. But uh, once I put everything together, they will look great. Of course, don't forget to erase all the pencil lines that you have done. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe at the back of all those pieces to put together my lemon slice. And of course, you can use the same technique to create an orange slice, a lime slice. Just use different colored cardstocks and I'm going to show you an example later on this video. So my lemon slice is ready and I wanted to have the outside edge slightly darker. So I'm going to use my scissors and chop that off and then I'm going to stick that directly on the um, darkest shade of yellow. And my lemon slice is ready to go. So I managed to create three slices of fruits up to now. I'm going to move on and create a kiwi now, which is really easy to do. I'm using a white piece of cardstock here and I'm going to add a little bit of green color. I'm using a brush just uh, to make sure that I don't oversaturate with color. I'm starting from the outside of the circle and going towards the center, making sure that I will not add too much color at the center. I want to keep that slightly lighter. I also cut out a bunch of seeds. I need lots of them for my kiwi. I'm going to add uh, some dots of glue there and then stick them all around in a circle. And of course the outer part, the thin part, is made out of brown cardstock. Now like the lemon I have two more examples, so here is a lime and an orange slice. And uh, with a little bit of creativity and different colored cardstocks you can create many different fruits. For example, like I did uh, the kiwi here, you can turn it easily into a melon by using slightly different colors and adding orange seeds. So I'm going to turn all these embellishments into simple cards. First of all I'm going to start with a watermelon. 
I used the die set to cut out the word sweet as well as the backing for it. These two dies come in one set and I love the outcome. I'm going to put those together now. And I also combined this uh, word with another sentiment that says thank you for being so sweet and it comes from the sweet sentiments that has just been released. And you can see I have already white embossed it on the same cardstock as the red of the watermelon and I'm going to use one of the new dies that cut out uh, thin strips of sentiments. I love these dies. Just like always you will find everything I'm using on this video down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now it's time to put everything together. I have a small white panel. This is smaller than the standard card and uh, I'm using uh, foam squares at the back of some of the elements just to pop them a little bit on my card. I will be using the same layout for pretty much all the cards and they make a great set. As a finishing touch I'm going to use my Aqua Shimmer Nuvo pen and I'm going to add some shine on the seeds and it would look great if you used glossy accents as well. So here it is, all ready to go. All I need to do is to just stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Using the same layout, I created cards with all the rest of my embellishments and I'm going to show them to you one by one. So in the watermelon card, you can see that I have uh, a panel which is the same cardstock as the red part of my watermelon. And uh, for the rest of the cards, I will be using the same layout, but switching the sentiments and the colors to match the main focal point. And again, these are just panels that I need to stick later on on four and a quarter by five and a half pre-folded cards. So here is my Kiwi card in brown colors and I think it would work great as a masculine card as well. The sentiment is a combination of die cutting and stamping. The die that I have uh, cut out the brown cardstock with is uh, Love and it is from an older release by MFT. And I combined the sentiment that says I love you seeds and all that comes from this new stamp set which is called Sweet Summertime. And here is a close up look on this card. Now let's move on to the lemon card. Again, the same layout on my card, but different sentiments. Of course, the backing is with a yellow cardstock and uh, I die cut the word hello using this die from a previous release by MFT. And to complete my sentiment, I also stamped underneath the word hello, you are the sugar in my lemonade. This stamp comes from the sweet lemonade stamp set and you will find it linked down below. Now here is my orange card. Again, same layout, sweet, and I combined that with I could just squeeze you. And here is my apple card for the background behind the apple. I just used a stamping block with a technique where you apply some distress oxide ink on the stamping block, apply water and just place it on top of your paper. This background helps the apple to pop up even more, otherwise it could be white over white. And finally, here is my lime card. Again, super simple. I used the sentiment that says squeeze the day, which I think is very appropriate with my focal point. And I did some inking at the background using Distress Oxide Ink and one of the new stencils that have been released, which is full of polka dots. I think this is one of the very versatile stencils that you can use for backgrounds again and again. So here are all the six cards that I made. I hope you had fun and that you got inspired to look at your dies in a completely different way and make the most out of them. Don't forget to leave me a comment and like this video. It really helps my channel and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.